The SiteSerum Interactive Dashboard Wizard allows the user to set up an SData feed. The wizard already knows the SData entry point for the internal SiteSerum SData provider. A list of all data entities supported by the SData provider is displayed. Let's build an SData feed for companies. The wizard finds all of the available feeds surfaced by the company entity. This is done in real time so custom fields appear immediately. Now just provide a name for the gadget and optionally a description. The interactive dashboard automatically queries the SDA provider to render the gadget. Now let's add another feed. This time we'll create an opportunities feed. Again, the wizard automatically finds the available field fields in real time. So add a name again and we're good to go. The aesthetic gadget supports remote paging. It also allows end user customization. We can hide or show fields. And we can sort the feed remotely. The feed can be sorted against any visible field. So now let's look at the gadget linking feature. Let's link these two gadgets together by selecting the linked fields. The SData gadget automatically filters the fields to show only compatible fields. Once linked, the gadget automatically renders data filtered by the link from the other gadget. So let's look at the drill down feature. The drill down for form shows a fully detailed view of a gadget entry. All of the entry fields are available in the right hand grid. The entry relationships shown in the left hand accordion panel, children, references and associations. Here we can drill down into the related entities. For example, here are the associated opportunities for this company. The detailed set of fields for the related opportunity are displayed in the right hand grid. And here we have the set of phone numbers for this company. So now let's see how simple it is to add an external SDATA feed using the Sage and built-in remote proxy feature. We start by entering the SDATA entry point web address. Here we go to integrate an ACPAC feed located on a remote server across the internet. This ACPAC feed is going to be for a list of ACPAC invoices on some Inc demo data. We always end an SDATA entry point with the dollar schema service. The yes, state and proxy automatically obtains their feed entities in real time. This allows the feed provider to change the feed version or add customized fields and the state and SDT gadget will automatically adapt in real time without needing any updates. Add the name and we're good to go. The feed renders in the interactive dashboard just like any other state feed. Again, it supports drill down just like any other SDA feed as well.